This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, discounted prices, miniaturemarket.com. Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here. Today I've got a special treat for you. See, over the last few years, the board gaming hobby's been growing, becoming more apparent to mainstream audiences and mass media. And this is no different. In 2016, a lot of people predicted that there'd be more of this in the board gaming hobby. Well, this is proof to this, because today I'm going to be interviewing a Hollywood cast about an upcoming web series that they have coming out called Great Indoors. And this is about an eclectic group of geeks in their 30s who shamelessly have their weekly game night. Uh, and it's funny that they've got some actors that you may be familiar with, like Josh Sussman, uh, who played a role in Glee, and others. So we're going to talk to them, interview them, see how it went, talk about the clips. I'm going to show you some trailer clips about the show. So let's get going and on with the interview. Okay, so we're joined by the creators of The Great Indoors and some of the cast. So first I'd like to introduce you to the creators. We have Aaron Rose Widener and Dean Donofrio. Yes. Hi guys, how are you doing? Hi. <laughs> thanks for having us. We're so excited to be here. Well, thanks for coming. We also have some of your talent and that's here. We have Josh Sussman. Josh is probably best known <laughs> for uh, being on the TV show Glee. Say hi, Josh. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> Fantastic. Thanks for taking some time out of your day to join us. We also have Natalie uh, Palamides, who is best known for the upcoming Powerpuff Girls. How are you doing, Natalie? Hey, good. How are you? Fantastic. That's a nice head hanging on the wall behind you. That's, that's quite ah, nice. Thank you. <laughs> that's a bare have, head. We, <laughs> that's awesome. And we have Pratesh Shah, uh, who, who's also on, on the show as well. Say hi, Pratesh. How's it going? Fantastic. Thanks for joining. So, Aaron Rose and Dean, uh, so I've given a little background about what this show's about. So tell us how this got started. How, where did this idea come from? Well, I am a board game geek. So <laughs> I've been, true. you know, uh, this is all, I've been uh, hosting my own game nights for just years and years and years. So uh, Aaron Rose, uh, I cast Aaron Rose in a play because I put on plays every year and invited her to a game night when the play was over, and she said, like, this is so fascinating, you know? <laughs> because I've always loved board games, too, but, like, I also didn't understand the extent of the world of board games until I actually went over to one of Dean's game nights, and I was like, this is crazy. Like, I didn't realize how many games were out there. Um, yeah, and she was like, you know, have you thought about doing, like, writing something, like, in this world? Yeah. And I said, well, I've always wanted to do something like that. She's like, let's, she, she, she's like a pusher. She's like, let's do it, like, right now. Like, let's do it. And then, so we just started writing, you know. Yeah. We well, knew and, and so you had this idea, and you wrote this up, and then obviously you've got some amazing talent on the show. So how did the casting come about? Like, did, did you have people in mind for the roles that you, written, that you wrote? That's right. Some, yeah. some, of the, some of the roles were actually written for, for people. For the, so, like, Natalie like is a Natalie. great example, which is, Natalie, Natalie and I actually met doing the play that Dean and I met in. So uh, so Natalie and I were in the same play, and so then when Dean and I started writing, we were like, God, we'd like have to include Natalie. Yeah. Like, we love her. And we even named the character Natalie. And we Natalie. named the ca character Natalie. Just so that she could not do it at that point. She, she had to do it at that point. That's so sweet. <laughs> So we, we've given people some background, some some general uh, ideas of what the show is about. We've met you a little bit. I think now's a good time to probably show sort of a little teaser or a trailer clip of this. Uh, Aaron Rose, why don't you set this clip up for the viewers, the, the, the sneak peek that we'll be showing them here. Yeah, so this is uh, during a party game. So Emily and Brad have come over for game night, and they are thrust into the middle of party games, and Emily is unsure of whether or not uh, the board game thing is for her. Um, and Brad is really desperate to make an impression, like a good impression. And so I think that's it. Yeah. That's yeah? It. That's it. All right. Let's well, here we go. I don't, I don't know what this is. I have no idea. I don't recognize you doing it at all. Ten Ten seconds. Seconds. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Change it. Change it. Change it. Just that's all right. All right. What was that? What is wrong with you, man? You should have something to 
do with each other? Oh, 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 Good luck. It's a toughie. The struggle was real. All right, team, if we get this, we win. Let's go, Sue. And go. Orville Redenbacher. Yes. Oh! Yes! Are you serious? Woo! Kidding me right now. What is wrong with you? I was popping. You were having a fit. There was no you corn. You just do it. Corn there was, it doesn't even pop like that I in Russia. I have watched no, corn you, popping before you, very oh closely. Oh, that's what happened. We won. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. Sorry. <laughs> Don't realize my own yeah. experience. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel to be a winner? Oh, well, you guys got all the clues. Uh, I mean, it was pop culture, so if it's after 1873, I'm not very helpful. But you were on the team. I guess, but I felt like I was really more of a burden than anything, you know? Uh, all right, forget time's up. Okay. Because I have a feeling you're going to love this next one. Next one. Uh huh. Uh 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> Lewis and Clark. Right? <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Two hours max. Uh, maybe two and a half. Uh, plus, I got to explain the rules. That's another 45, no biggie. Four hours tops. <laughs> uh. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Dad, you up for some LNC? Brad, did I hear your phone go off? Did you maybe get a text or something? Nope. So, strategy. As you guys noticed from that clip, you may have recognized that Erin Rose we were talking about uh, is one of the creatives, but you may have recognized her in that clip, right? <laughs> She's in that clip? <laughs> oh my god. I weaseled my way in. I it didn't. was her. <laughs> yeah, we didn't tell you guys, but she's in it. <laughs> no, the, the, fu the funniest part about that clip, I mean, really, is you guys did an amazing job of, like, showing what Time's Up is like. I mean, Josh, when you sit there and you get, like, this one little thing and you're like, Oral Redenbacher, and it's like, <laughs> you were right on. And then the funny thing is, is that happens in that game all the time. Yeah. It's a proud feeling when you get it and you know it and you're precise. Like you're in the military and I was like a sniper and I just hit that Orville Redenbacher. Since <laughs> <laughs> so you guys weren't like huge board gamers before and you've done this done these these shows and it's coming up soon, have you guys found yourselves having your own game nights or having game nights with each other now? That's in the works. <laughs> That's in the works. That's a good idea. I, I would be down. I'd be. Yeah, I'd be that's in the works. So, and let, let me tell you this: if 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 we get to do more of these great indoors shows, it's going to be a mandatory game night like every week <laughs> that, while we're shooting. Hey, I played yeah. Werewolf and I did well. I did well. I won. Yeah, everyone. one night Ultimate Werewolf and uh, Pratesh yeah. played that and he did yeah. quite well. Yeah. Wait a second. They have Ultimate Werewolf. Is this the game on your phone? Yes. And yes. I love that game. I just played it this week, this past weekend. But I didn't play Ultimate Werewolf. Were, well, were you a <laughs> werewolf? Yeah, what I were was you? a werewolf. One of the times I was a werewolf, yeah. Uh, you were. Did you fool everybody? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did. They're mad. They're mad. I tricked them. Sorry. You are liars. It, it's stressful, and then you're being... I was innocent one time, and people thought I was the werewolf, and I was being accused, and I was pleading my innocence, and, like, I got kicked out of the village or however it happens. And, yeah. uh, Josh, you just look guilty. Well, that's one of my, ever since I saw The Fugitive, that's what been one of my biggest fears. You fall accused of something, and now I've been watching Making a Murderer. Oh, my gosh. Uh, making a Murderer. Oh, yeah. Don't get me started. Oh, my gosh. We were just talking about One Night Ultimate Werewolf, which is one of my favorites. And, in fact, actually, the, the prequel to this just came out called One Night Ultimate Vampire that I'm looking at my review shelf that we've been oh. reviewing. And, and you can actually, you can it changes it up a bit, and then you can actually mix them together and have werewolves versus villages versus vampires. I'm going to oh, have to Shut gonna need to get yeah, yeah. You'll, my, my review will be coming out for the vampire one uh, probably next couple of weeks. So, so the show. Okay, so tell us a little bit more about how they can find it. When is it starting? It looks like there's maybe eleven episodes. Can you tell us about the format? Yeah. So we're actually they're going to be nineteen episodes, and they're going to be uh, three to five minutes in length. 
and we are debuting it in February, and you can find out all this amazing information at meeplesunite.com. Um, the show's called The Great Indoors, of course, and so we're also on YouTube, and, but you could go to our webpage to find out more information, to find us on Facebook, Twitter, all of that. So if, if it starts in February and there are three to five minutes a piece, there's 19 of them, how often are yeah. they going to be coming out? Yeah, that's... Uh... Well, that's uh, in the works, but we're, there'll be enough in, in, uh, in any, one, any one sort of launch there will be enough that uh, it will be satisfied. We're, we satisfied. think we're going to do like a, a couple per per date that when yeah. we release it. So it's yeah. not just going to be like it's one not every be one week. one at a time. There will be at least two or three. It would get a little bit old. Yeah. Waiting okay. that anticipation yeah. for 19 right. weeks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so our plan is to do a couple at a time. Is there anything else that you guys would want to share? Well, I just thought it was fun. Like, you know, we we're shooting. It was very fast like the they did it a lot in a, a little amount of time which is very hard but so like they had to make sure we knew how to play the game still when we were shooting because it couldn't like look <laughs> everything still had to be in the right spot so like I just remember being like wait a sec like is this calling supposed to be here right now and, you know like I just thought it was really fun that even though like uh, the you know the characters were playing the game like we still had to know how to play the game to act like we were playing the game. Does that make any sense? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was just funny. It was just funny because Dean was like, "Okay, these are the rules." You know, it's like we're on like a <laughs> such a tight yeah. shooting schedule, and I, I was getting like, my nerve on with them. Yeah, and I could see their eyes going like, "What?" Yeah, explain <laughs> like all these rules. Like normally takes like maybe an hour to explain, and he's like, "Okay, this is what you need to know." Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Out of all the games that were played on the set or for you know for the show itself, did do each of the three of you cast um, cast only members? Did you have a favorite by the end of the the shooting? I love Time's Up. I, I was just going to say the same thing. It's the only one that I actually played at Dean's place and we played while we're shooting, so I enjoy that, and obviously it's a little bit of an easier game. It's, it's good for the amateurs, you know. <laughs> they did pretty well, too, with uh, uh, Lords of Waterdeep. Protesh and Josh got to play that in a scene, yeah. Yeah. which you'll see in the web series. Uh, and then mo the, uh, most of the other time, these two characters were playing Phuket, which is not a real game, yeah. so they had to just pretend... To move stuff. To move stuff and around. And be competitive. <laughs> but we were very particular about, for the other games, like Lords of Waterdeep, Natalie was playing mm -hmm. Kingsburg. Mm -hmm. We were yeah. very particular about, you know, because we wanted to look authentic, like move here. When it's your turn, do this. <laughs> Roll the dice and then do this. Mm -hmm. So um, You should have had a game to, PA to keep track of every move. Yeah. It's yeah. a lot to think about. And Aaron Rose learned Lewis and Clark. Yeah. Got to play that. Sure did. In fact, yeah. one of our cast members, Nelson, who plays Ted, uh, loved it so much he went out and bought the game. Immediately. Well, immediately. <laughs> Yeah. It's it's so funny because from that clip that we played earlier, it's so watching your face, uh, Aaron Rose, when he's a oh, you look so excited because you know you, you have this history background. He pulls out Lewis and Clark, and he looks yeah. so excited. He's like ah, oh, four hours mash, and you're like ah, <laughs> 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 so true. But no, Time's Up's a great game. I mean, I wouldn't. I mean. I review hundreds of board games a year, and it's still one of my favorites that I bring to places when I don't know people. I'll bring it, and yeah. I've never seen it not go over well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. very popular it's at so my great. game night. Yeah. Is, Dean, is there anything else about the show uh, that you that, that you want to let people know about? Uh, well, we're just excited for everybody to see it, especially the board game community. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a passion of mine. It combines my two passions, which is filmmaking and board games. So... Uh, I'm just excited to share it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Cool. And I think like the thing that like the overall like theme message of the show is about finding your people and finding your tribe. And I think that's so true in like the board game community. Like you find your people, that's and it's right. like that's what we love about this. I've found some of my closest friends through this through my game night. So, so that's what we want to reflect with this. Yeah. Well, I think I think this is going to be excellent. I think it's going to go over huge in the board game world. I, I've seen not only the clip that you all just saw, but I've seen a couple other clips. And I got to tell you, it's more of what you just saw. It's just, it's hilarity. It's real. It's funny. And the characters are great. And I think the board gaming world is going to be excited to be looking at all of these as they come up. 
Yay! Yay. <laughs> Hello, friends. <laughs> Thanks cool. so much, Dan. Well, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the interview and this brought something to your attention that you did not know about beforehand. And I hope you join me in watching this show when it comes out soon. There's a link below that you can click and learn a little bit more about it as well. This video was sponsored by Miniature Markets Review Corner. The Review Corner features podcasts, video, and written game reviews by gamers for gamers. Miniature Market, the online gaming superstore. Thousands of board games, discounted prices. Check them out at miniaturemarket.com.